Hello everyone. It's been a little while. I, uh, <clears throat> I won't make any excuses. I'm a lazy son of a bitch who uh, can't seem to get a routine down. But, I've got a few days, I've got a few days with many hours that I can spend going on a bit of an adventure. Alright, our first goal, that tower. We're gonna clear up this section of the map. We're gonna make it, we gotta make it known to us. We'll be doing several episodes tonight. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Not with this much stam. Okay. We're going to figure something out. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to go along this shoreline. I feel like an Octorok right there, and I'm not sure what that's about. It doesn't matter. Do I have any swimming... Do I have any swim speed increase gear? No? That's a Zora. Okay, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Shouldn't delay too much. We've got things to do, places to be, an adventure to go on. Bad thing is. Bad thing is that it's raining. <sighs> you son of a bitch. You wanna go? Let's go. Come on, man. Bad thing is it's raining. So climbing isn't really a good idea. So, we're going to have to avoid that for the time being. Oh, let's see exactly, exactly what I mean as to why. Just slid down a tree, barely climbing it at all. Alright. <clears throat> Might as well pick some mushrooms too. Some mushrooms, some apples, you know. Get some get some nice uh, food supplies for uh, for this adventure we'll be going on. See if I can walk across that fence. Hopefully. Hmm. Number of enemies here. Not exactly confident in my ability to overcome them. Please don't. Oh. It's shallow. Ah. Uh, you can really, yeah. But, uh, you know, I got a few days. I got a few days of no real home-based responsibilities that I can, uh, I can use to get to put some time in. You know, I got a few hours tonight. Right. I've got a veritable enemy camp to go across. We could take this one of two ways. We could run through. We can run through like it's nothing. Or we can take it like a man. Butcher every enemy in our path. I know which one sounds more appealing. And I think I know what I'm going to be doing. Let me check my weapon stock to see how feasible this is. Yeah, we'll be able to get some work done. <laughs> Come on, fuck. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do this front door style. We are definitely going to have to do this front door style, and that's fine. That's fine. You know, being bold and you know, running into running into the enemy camp face first is ex exceptionally. Why is this not working? Oh, I can't. I can't switch abilities again. <sighs> Damn. All right, we're going to have to do this the hard way. No terrorism, just our steel and our sweat. Although I can't quick swap weapons. <clears throat> That's going to. Yeah, no terrorism, which means yeah, we're going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to bypass. We're going to have to pass up some of the opportunities presented for resource gain. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, I know how to fix it, and I'll fix it in between episodes. All right. You know, for something, for a structure like this, I expected there to... Oh. Ah. Come on. Oh, fuck. Optimize. There we go. Ow, fuck you. Didn't hurt that much, but fuck you all the same. 
I'm not going to be taking care of these after. Ow. Alright, maybe I will be taking care of... Damn, I got some fucking distance on them. Uh, what? Hello? Hello? Ah, yes. You're going to tell me to go to Zora's Domain. Yes? Also, we are proceeding in somewhat the incorrect direction. Hi. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I am indeed. Yes. Yes. Yes, I know, I know. Right. <laughs> what, are you going to force me? Yes, thank you. I, my destination is the tower, but I will go see the prince afterwards. Yes, indeed. Also, isn't it dangerous for you to be... You know, what? We're just going to ignore that. Okay. The tower. I've also got these giant fucking rib bones here. Alright, it is not raining as well. Which means... Oh, that's some fast-moving water. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to take some, uh, some more circuitous routes, especially, especially since it's going to be a little bit longer than I prefer. But given how fast this river is moving and how not fast I swim, it's just going to have to. That's just how it has to be. All right, all right. We got a coblin over there. We got some. We got a. There are a lot of Zoras near here. Um, no resources in those barrels. No, I really shouldn't be wasting my weapon durability on something like that. Right. Inward we head. Get some shrooms. actually switch to the Boko Club. Ah, right. My entire D-pad just isn't working. Got it. Oh, he lit it on fire. So we're just going to have to, uh, move on. Oh! I don't want it to burn up. It's already hard enough to keep a hold of weapons. What the hell was that? What did I just see? Oh, a deer. Okay. You don't even have a weapon. Eh! He does have a weapon. scale. <laughs> Alright, well, we've taken out some lizards. Okay, nice. Ooh, a radish. That is a moblin. Hmm. Do we want to tangle with him? You know what? Fuck it. Weapons. Just so I can have a shield out. You know. 
Uh, but combat is proceeding smoothly. I guess, uh... Oh. Oh my. Um. Hmm. This is going to be rather troublesome. Except... <laughs> yeah! I killed all your friends. Oh, he's got, uh... Ah, that was not a good idea. Oopsie. Well, there's a lot of resources there. There's also fish! Ooh, got a little excited there. <laughs> Some free fish. Resources are valuable. I heard a noise. Wait, is that weapon particularly... Oh, no, it's just, it's just a bow. It's just a bow. I shouldn't get too excited. I have many bows. Anyway, <clears throat> we proceed. So, I remember the last time we did this, I went up on that tower and used it as kind of a jumping off point. I intend to do so again. Oh, no. They've got Watchmen. I know those black locos hurt a lot. Well... <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, food, food, food. Uh. Okay, Spike Club is damaged. some monster XP and whatnot, and a hole for five arrows. Phenomenal. your head. Alright, there should, if I remember correctly, there should be an enemy up here. There isn't. Oh, well, that's fantastic. That means we just fucking get free access to them. There's an ice wizard over there, and that's just a piece of rock that's just discolored. I thought that was something. I was about to freak out. Alright, you know what? Let's actually increase climb speed. It's going to cut down on my attack bonus, but I don't really need to be attacking anything while I'm climbing a tower. Might be worth our time to take out that whiz robe, though. Because, uh, yeah, that is not what I meant to do. Okay. Climb. Alright. Well, we've made good progress. Let's see, this will unlock, this will unlock the entirety of Zora's domain, I believe. Which is good, because then we can actually see the gauntlet that we will be undergoing. Oh, yeah, and it is indeed a gauntlet. Basically just, oh, you know, basically just, a, it's, it's a winding, curvy path filled with enemies who would, you know, filled with enemies. And given that we're playing on Master Mode, 
They're going to be harder than the last time, than the first time that I did it, which is also the last time that I did it. So, you know, it's going, it's going to be, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. What the hell was that? Oh, that's one of those star bits. Did it actually drop over there? Well, I can't see. All right, well, we'll get to the top of the tower, I guess. But, uh, yeah, Zora's Domain is going to be a challenge to get to. I mean, you know, go, going through Death Mountain to to get to... Uh, going through Death Mountain to get to the Gorons is also somewhat challenging. Uh, also, at the same time... Well, actually, no, I think those are the only two, like, gauntlets. You know, getting to the Gerudo Desert isn't so hard, and getting to the, um, the place with the bird people, that's not so hard either. I mean, those two areas, it's just a matter of dealing with the environment. You know, the hot, the cold. It's kind of whatever. You know, as long as you have the correct, as long as you have the correct equipment to just navigate the hot or cold environment, you'll be fine. I mean, right now I don't. I'll need to, uh, you know, acquire it or refine my elixir making skills in order to actually have elixirs that will last long enough. And let's have a look. And there it is. So, I you can't see where I'm pointing. I don't know why I'm pointing, but that path right in front of us to the north, that is the start of this gauntlet. The prince will be, uh, there. You know, he'll be, he'll be there. Uh, all the way. It's just that, uh, you know, it's not going to be easy. You know, luckily with uh, the whole, like, enemy enemies don't uh, respawn unless it's a blood moon kind of thing going on, uh, we will be able to deal with the, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to go away. Hi. Hello. Yes, I know, I know. I'm working on it. Uh, we'll be able to deal with the enemies and kind of retreat if needed to go gather some more resources. Uh, or, you know, just kind of get distracted and do something else, which I don't intend to do. Uh, but if it's necessary, it's necessary. It wasn't necessary the first time. Well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I, it it would have been good if I did that, if I actually came prepared. But uh, I didn't, and I just went through it, and it was troublesome. combat trial. Okay. A combat trial. It's a minor test of strength. So we should be... The weapons that we have should be sufficient. And I've got a neat shield. Let's go then. Let's go then. <clears throat> Sword and shield. My weapons as well. Fun. Uh, come on. Yeah. Fuck. Broadsword. What, are you gonna fucking spin up? No? No, you're doing that. Right. minor test of strength, we can handle it, even with uh, somewhat uh, insufficient weapons. Now, shields. I know that one. There we go. Nice. 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 That and this attack boost phantom armor is also rather helpful. <laughs> you know, it looked like, look like a phantom from uh, Spirit Tracks, but hey, <clears throat> it's, it's fashionable. What do we got? What do you got for me? A knight's bow. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We love us some some good bows. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we're gonna keep the other soldier's bow. Just we're we're trading upward. We're trading upward. He's gonna give me the orb, and we're gonna continue on our merry way. We're gonna get at least part of the way through the gauntlet in this episode. 
Is it for the prophecy of ruin? Hell yeah! I mean, the prophecy kind of already happened because the entirety of Hyrule is somewhat in ruins. But uh, you know, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna split hairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, another orb. I don't remember how many I have. How many we got? We have four. Oh, 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 we could get a new heart before we go after the uh, the first divine beast. This that would be really good because that one was one that I struggled with because again I was completely unprepared. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we proceed. Yeah, hi. Can't you see that the proceeding? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's also fucking rainy as shit up to the whole up through the whole way. Oh, oh, it's voiced over. Okay. Up top, above you. Yeah. Nice. Hello. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? Yeah. I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Oh no, no, no problem. And is that is that all we got for voice cutscene? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, I am indeed Hylian. Nice. Okay. I am Link, the hero. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It's it's a it's a pretty common name. Don't worry. Oh, that's odd. Well, yes, perfect. <laughs> oh, right, with power, yeah, right, yeah, the, the it's it's flooding or something. I remember, sure, yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the cliffs are wet, we have to do the gauntlet. Yes. Yeah, a bit treacherous. Tough fight in store. Attack with electricity. Uh -huh. Fuck. Uh, shit. I remember that. Okay, what is it? Ah, there we go. Does it work on Zora? That's... That's odd, considering the Zora's, uh, you know, weakness to electricity. You know, the almost crippling weakness. That would be, uh, it's rather disadvantageous, don't you think? Uh, it matters not. We proceed. Onward. Yes, so this is going to be, I said this before, but this is going to be a gauntlet. We'll need weapons out. We'll have many a lizard and other stuff to deal with. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. No? Alright. Okay. Okay. That fucking Octorok isn't gonna be able to take us. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of that problem. What was that? I heard a noise. See, that's another thing about Octorox. They will not leave me the fuck alone. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. What the fuck is that? The hell was that? Oh, it's a, it's a lizard. Leave him behind. We have places to be. Monsters to slay. Oh shit, a traveler sword. I can use that. It's not going to be that useful, but it'll at least 
you know, hold off the enemy. damage. Okay. Nearly cost us a whole weapon. And we didn't get one in exchange from that monster, from that lizard. here. Okay. Octorok eyes, we can get fish. If I, uh, if my D-pad was working. Son of a bitch. Oh! Looking quick scope, that guy. Alright. Oh. I had it. I had it. Silent shrooms. Okay. Ah. Hello? Ah. It's the prince again. He's here to tell us something. Hello. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're getting there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to rush it, because then I'm going to get killed. See, this would be the portion where if this was a game where I had, like, a companion of some kind, this would be the bit where, like, Midna or something fucking says says something to me. Dump that lizard out. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. We keep proceeding. You know, it hasn't, uh, hasn't really gotten, hasn't really gotten difficult, you know. Alright. You know, let's see how, yeah, see, as you can see, we have this long path to go through. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Gotta be careful. Fuck my head. There is a there's a bit of a skip here, you know. I mean, you can take we can take shelter here to cook up some cook up some food, and then we can just kind of like skip this whole portion. We can't light fire to these vines because you know the rain, but we can uh, use our our wit. There's a puzzle here, uh, Korok. Wow. Yeah, all right. Korok seed does be valuable when we go get the master sword, because uh, that's where the, uh, the the NPC is for the weapon slot upgrade. All right. So we just did a whole big skip. We just fucking walked right past a whole fuck ton of enemies. And see, there's a little pass here filled with electric keys. We're skipping those too. Ew, that was a noise. Okay. So, I'm thinking we can, hmm, I'm thinking we can kind of just, you know, wait. Hmm, yeah, let's just go ahead and shoot him out. A little bit higher. Oh, it's, oh, I see. And away we go. A frog. Oh, got him. Hell yeah, all right. No weapon though, that's disappointing. This is, you know, it does have several, like, little points here. We could, uh, you know, take a little break, maybe pick up some food, make some food, I mean. Ooh. Fucking whole sapphires under a rock. All right. Weapon out. We keep going. Keep going through the gauntlet. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, fuck. Okay. 
Yeah, you can fucking get me. I'm gonna push this rock down just to fucking illustrate how pointless that was. Yeah. Cause a rock slide. Okay. So. Ah. Right. What, you think I can't climb? Okay. Uh, oh shit! That went fucking flying. That went fucking flying. Where did it go though? Oh, that is a Zora spear, and that will be valuable. Okay, we got we got we got weapons. We got a weapon restock. Nothing under the rock. Okay. Ah. That's a lot of lizards. Let's see, can we? Yes, we can. We can do a bit of a tactical advancement here. Come on, what's happening? Do a bit of tactical advancement here. Cold darn it. Oh shit, yeah, okay, a bug. See, that one's got a boomerang. <sighs> Climbing isn't going to be easy. Oh, uh, what? Oh, come on, come on, I know you can do it. Ah, come on. Yeah. Uh, something just got injured. Okay. Okay. Oh no. That's bomb. We need a Lizal spear. throw. I mean, actually, you know, you, that one lizard or from earlier was, like, throwing shit at me, and, you know, it was like, you son of a bitch, you know, I was doing, I was doing all that. Uh, but you can actually throw boomerangs and get some pretty decent results out of them. A big rupee. Let's see, we got one weapon slot. I'm gonna take the claymore. This boomerang is more powerful. Okay. We'll take that. Okay, okay. Octo balloon. Lizal Boomerang. Lizal Boomerang is 14. We're gonna go ahead and keep what we got and go forward. I, if I remember correctly, there is a fucking whiz robe up here somewhere. Which is, uh, you know, not gonna be great. Because, you know, we gotta deal with that. But it, it's, you know, hold on, are we even going the right way? Yes, we are. I think the whiz robe is around here. So that is something we're going to have to deal with eventually. There's a bunch of frogs here. I'm just gonna get the frogs. Frog. 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 We get the frog. Oh, they just like hop themselves out of existence. Okay. I thought that, I thought you once you cornered them, you could get them. Whatever. Okay. We continue. There is a Zora bridge here and a lizard with some Octorox holding him up. We can take care of him easy. Now, keep in mind, I might be a bad shot. Oh, shit. Okay, I actually managed to get him. Ah, a little bit higher. Get dumped. Ha! <laughs> Alright, alright. Back to it. Back to it. Back to progression. Yeah, we can get lots of good resources while we're doing this little trek. Alright. Oh, it's, it's just a mural. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was way off. You think you can... <laughs> Alright. Here we go. We go across the bridge, and it's not going to be a, there's not going to be a threat here. I already made a I already terminated those threats. Okay, okay. And we continue. You know what? We can run. I ran too long. 
used to Genshin, where I can just run and, you know, depleting my stamina doesn't incur right. movement. Hello? Oh, you're way down in the fucking... Yeah, you are. You're just shouting up here? Dude. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping... About what? Oh, that's a moblin. That's a moblin. Come on, then. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. Got him. Moblin Club. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Took care of it. Alright. Proceeding onward. Proceeding onward. <laughs> Reminds me of that Golden Sun, uh, the Golden Sun game that was on DS, you know, the third one. Every time you kind of like sit idle for a little bit or after you got done with a conversation, it would just have this thing where it go, you know, onward in big fancy letters and it have the stylus tapping the screen and all that. It's like, man, I'm putting it down because I got to, you know, wash my hands and worry about it. You know, it, it was a fun game. That was a fun game. I just wish it didn't, you know, I, I wish there was another game to kind of finish up the story because it ended a bit on the cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. You know, fucking GZ is really proud that he can hit a target that just isn't moving. Uh, and not only can I hit it, but I fucking nailed it too. All right, we continue our trapes. We haven't encountered some monsters in the in a while, but that's that's probably gonna change once we get up here. In fact, I think this is where the wizard room was, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there he is. See, he's an electric one, too. Oh, we're gonna have problems. Alright, we're gonna need to stun- we're gonna need to stun lock his ass. Come on. Okay. Oh, we got him! Oh, we fucking got him, boys! Hell yeah! Lightning rod. You know, I'm not really interested in- in the, uh, wooden shield, okay. Uh, I'm not really interested in, like, the, uh, you know, the, the... Oh, the carp here, okay. Orc Lizzle Spear, hold on. Yeah, just throw that. <laughs> Alright. Hey, there we go, that's nice. You know, we got a little, you know, you defeat the Wizard you get access to his pile of loot, which amounts to some metal boxes, uh, a few shields, and, uh, you know, his staff. Oh, right, I can't. I can't, uh. Oh, it broke. Okay. I was a little worried just now. It's like, uh, it's gonna hit me in the fucking head and I'm gonna take some damage. Alright, you know what? Since I don't have the power of terrorism, we just, we just keep going. We just keep trekking. How far we got? Not too far. Not too far. Yeah, we got we got through this pretty quickly. This took a lot longer the first time I did it. I promise. You know, I had to fight. I had to, you know, I didn't know I didn't know the skips and the shortcuts that I took this time around. So I fought my way through every fucking lizard, and uh, it was a trek. Wait, are we just gonna throw rock? Booga booga, throw rock. Okay. Okay. Come on now. Rock. Fucking yeah. yeah. Alright, hell yeah. Eh, throw rock. Okay. I am the king of the mountain. Alright, so what do we get? Oh yeah, we can see uh, we can see the divine beast from here. And we can glide right down. Glide right down. You know, another another fine skip, one that I wasn't entirely aware of. Now we need to conserve stamina. Woo! All right. Woo! We have made the pilgrimage. This is the this is Breath of the Wild's like version of the five thousand steps. You know where we, you know, Zelda's domain is the five thousand steps of Breath of the Wild. Oh, we've nearly made it. 
We just have to cross this bridge, have a conversation with the prince, and bada bing, bada boom. We gotta, you know, we're here, Zora's domain. And then we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta do some sneaking. Some sneaking. We gotta do some sneaking around, we'll, we'll do that, we'll, you know, get the, uh, get the stuff we need, and head to the Divine Beast, where we fight our first boss. It is exceptionally rainy. It is exceptionally rainy. He gave us a little uh, pan shot, and he saw that we're here. Probably because of the horns on my helmet make me look taller. Hello! Are you surprised that I got here? Perfect. I guess not. Yes, that is rather sudden. But, okay, I guess you are the prince. I suppose that you are indeed the prince. Hello! Hello! Hello, it is I, the... The hero, you know, the hero of legend. Perhaps you've heard of me. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna get these uh, thingies. What the hell is that? That's a crab. It's got a crab. Oh shit! That's a that's a weapon. That's a weapon. Silver longsword. Twenty-eight. Uh, I mean, we got this twelve, but it's got durability. Eh, fuck it. Taking the longsword. Taking the long sword, it'll serve us better. All right, so we're gonna get this shrine. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones where it's like, hey, just by getting here, you proved your worth. You know, I think that's. I think this is one of those. And then you know, we'll we'll end it off here. I'll readjust my settings so my D-pad works. Definitely gonna need that during the boss fight. And then we will, uh, you know, we will uh, proceed. We will proceed. Oh, okay. Please don't be an actual puzzle, because I don't have access to my powers. Fuck, it's an actual puzzle. I don't have access to my powers. Right, right, right. This is troublesome. Pushing power. Okay, yeah, I, all right. We're going we're gonna to have to save the shrine for the beginning of the next episode, because I need to make sure my D-pad works, because... That one requires uh, stasis, you know, to uh, to work. And uh, I think uh, Cryonis would be helpful as well. But hey, we made it to Zora's domain. We did it, you know. So next time we'll do the shop. We'll, we'll do the shrine. We'll do some shopping, and then uh, you know we'll also uh, proceed with the story. Proceed with the adventure. Uh, until then, I've been GZ. See you next time.